Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you once again for all the support and love. It means the absolute world. Yes, my background is evolving. I got a new palm plant, put my aloe, and I built this plant fixture so everything looks quite homey. Today, we'll be talking about the importance of mental health for young Asian men. I feel like this is something that does not get the attention it deserves. Mental health is one of those things that's extremely crucial and important to live a life well-lived. And it's something that really, really is detrimental if you don't address it. I know the difficulties of mental health in the Asian culture. I know how hard that is to be taken seriously from your parents and friends. I feel like mental health is something that's ever really spoken about in the Asian community. And I remember just trying to talk about it to my mom. They just had no idea. Like, how could you be sad? How could you be struggling with something? How could you be depressed? How could you be anxious? You have a roof over your head, you have food, and you are in America. Trust me, I think there's something to be said. I mean, like, it's totally okay to be thankful for these opportunities that were given to me. But sometimes there's, like, some shit that you don't even know why it's happening. I think that's the importance of talking about it. I think having that conversation early on to get the support is really important. But I understand that eventually you're just going to have to do your own thing and go get the help you need. Go see a therapist, shop around, and get the help. It's really difficult if you live under their roof and their paying for it. So really, really reach out and fight for it. Fight for your own mental health. I understand how difficult that is. From a lot of the comments and emails and inquiries I get, it's really, really sad. Sometimes there's people who are clinically depressed or people who just need to get help and their parents just will not offer those resources. So if you have your own job, definitely go and seek out the help you need. I think it's really important. I feel like it will really increase the quality of your life and you just have the space to think from a different perspective that you never had. I can tell that therapy has definitely changed my life. I majored in psychology, I'm pro therapy. I feel like mental health amongst young men is so important. I feel like when you are a single man coming of age, it is a very, very difficult time. With the messages that we get from society and the media, sometimes it feels like we're worthless. Sometimes it feels like it should be shameful to be a man. And I just wanna tell you, hey, I love you. It's okay to be a man. It's okay to be secure in your masculinity. And it's okay to be lost in trying to find a direction. I'm not gonna say I have it all figured out, but trust me, for the longest time growing up, I had a lot of anger, resentment, confusion of what my role is in society. And you know, growing up poor as an Asian man, facing a lot of discrimination and poverty is a super hard time to just think of a life that's beyond the current moment. And it was, one of the hardest times of my life. And I'm not gonna say I don't struggle with my mental health now, I definitely do, um, but I get the help I need and there's resources where I can sit down and talk to someone who gives me unconditional positive regard, i.e. unconditional love, and just listen to me. I feel like sometimes talking about mental health through your parents or someone you really care and loves you, it gets kind of like messy because it's too personal, it's too close to home, but finding someone who's an objective standpoint, it's pretty nice. I just wanna say that getting the support of your parents is a super hard thing and mental health is usually not taken seriously at all. And it's really sad to see. I get a lot of comments and emails and DMs about people just struggling, just struggling and they need help but they don't know how to do it. I feel like Asians, we work so fucking hard. I get messages where people are in like med school, investment bankers, they're in these very high paying roles. And trust me, to get there takes a lot of sacrifice and you need to overcome a lot of adversity. You need to be very perseverant in order to get to where you are. And I just wanna say that it's probably along the journey, you probably felt lonely, you felt lost, you felt like your life was meaningless. And I feel like seeking the help you need will really balance out your goals and what you want. It is such a difficult thing. And I don't wanna say like, this is medical advice. This is not medical advice, by the way. I'm not licensed, I'm some guy on the internet, so please take this with a grain of salt. I feel like therapy isn't always like an end all be all, and I wanna say that. It might be for some people, but I feel like it's a step in the right direction to have an internal dialogue with yourself, to look at yourself in the mirror and be like, hey, these issues are here. I acknowledge that they're present, and I gotta find a way where I can be a productive member of society while also living the best life. And it's one of those things where you really need to get vulnerable. I feel like admitting that you need help for your mental health is a very vulnerable thing. Admitting that there's something that's going on internally that I don't know why. And most of the time we try to tell people about it, they either dismiss it or push it away. So now you're not really sure about your feelings. You're like, am I feeling this? Am I going crazy? Like what is going on? 
but realize that you're not struggling in this. And I want to be an example to everyone be like, I got the help I need. I'm still seeking it. I want to use myself as an example. I got the help that I needed and the help that I'm currently needing in order to live a great life. And I definitely see the difference. There are times where I was just so confused and I couldn't find an answer. There, I've done everything possible, but sitting down and having someone sit there and truly understand the things you're going through really kind of helps you. And I would say this, if your mental health is not in check, everything else goes to shit. Trust me, I fucking realize it. You could be on top of the world, killing it in school, your job, but if you're just feeling hollow and empty on the inside, that is not a great feeling. There were so many times where I felt like I had everything I needed in my life. I felt so dissatisfied with my own life. I felt like something was missing. Honestly, the common denominator was myself. I feel like I was missing in the whole equation. I feel like I didn't really exist. I was like, where have I been? Where was I? Where were my needs? ever being met. I feel like it's a guy who's always chasing these goals. It's arbitrary goals and realize once you get it, then you'll be happy. But the funniest thing is you can lay out every single goal unless those goals are something that's deep in your heart that you want. These things won't provide the joy and happiness that you were promised. I'm gonna tell you right now, hey, having money, having assets is super cool, living in a great place. Having food and a roof over your head is fucking phenomenal, having toys. But if you don't have genuine human connection, people that you love and you can rely on, it's all fucking worthless in my fucking eyes. I feel like if you don't have people that you love that will continually show up and you have someone to just kick it with, empathize with, make your life amazing, you can call a friend and a family member. I think that really changes it. I feel like in this day and age, with all this technology, we are missing community. And I feel like we just feel like we're always so alone and loneliness kills. You can look up every peer reviewed article about how loneliness will take years, decades off your life. When you are depressed and sad and lonely, your immune system stops functioning perfectly. There's so many issues. You have a hard time overcoming ailments and you just don't seem to have the energy or the spark left in your eyes to kind of move on. And I feel like this does not get addressed properly. Guys, if you're young, Asian man is trying to find it in this world. I just wanna say it's supposed to be hard. Number two, it is hard. Number three, that the fact you're watching this video really shows that, hey, you are fucking awesome. You're trying to do something that constantly improves your own life and improve other people's life. And you can hopefully create a lifestyle that you really want. And I feel like just sitting down, getting vulnerable and realizing, hey, if your mental health is not in check, you will not be able to accomplish really a lot. You might be able to put everything down or press it, but eventually it's gonna come up like a wave, a storm, and it's gonna hurt. I feel like what happened to me was like, I've swept everything under the rug for so long, just trying to chase success and dating and getting a friend group and just creating the life I want, but I really did not meet the needs of myself. And eventually it started crashing and burning and you really have a really difficult time just moving on. I tr trust me, just feeling apathetic towards life, sitting in your bed, looking at the ceiling, be like, what the fuck is the point of all this? Uh, having an existential crisis crisis and just not understanding it, it is a really difficult phenomenon. But once you find meaning for your own life to live, it's pretty fucking great. And it's been a long journey and I realize I have a long journey ahead. Um, I have an awesome girlfriend. I have a great relationship with my mom and brother. I have a great job. I live in a great place. I have a really cool friend group and I'm so thankful for that. But I feel like none of these things were really possible and so until I started showing up for myself. I feel like once I started showing up for myself and treating myself like I treat a family member who really needed love, everything changed. I smile now. I laugh. I don't really sit there feeling like um, everything is pointless and futile. I mean, sometimes you have these like, brief like waves of these of these emotions but then they fade away pretty damn quick and it's taking me a lot of internal dialogue so once again let's say this is not medical advice this is not even advice i think this is just awareness to be like hey do something for yourself do something for yourself go find help and i'm gonna say this some therapists fucking suck i'm not gonna lie you have one bad therapist it ruins your entire experience some therapists are not even qualified i'm just gonna say that Look up some reviews for your therapist and shop around. Some therapists will offer like 20 to 30 minute free initial consultations and just be honest with them. Just be like, hey, look, I've had like two, three therapists. Everyone fucking sucked. And I wanna see if we have similar interests and vibes and if we can work together. Cause that's the number one thing. If a therapist doesn't take you seriously, like fuck them. There's no point. I feel like a lot of therapists think they're great, but they give you so much bullshit and they don't really find results. You gotta find someone who invests in you, who truly wants you to get better and you wanna get yourself better. But the funniest thing is you gotta realize that you're someone who's capable of getting help and receiving help. 
and realizing that you can get better. I think understanding and having the internal belief that I will get over this. It might take some time, but I will really change everything. I think shopping around for a therapist is actually very important. I have found some that sucked and I've found some that are absolutely amazing. And just having a brief interaction with these people are super cool. And just realize, just be kind to yourself, guys. If you're a young adult male, be patient and be very forgiving of yourself. I know it feels like you need to have the best job in the world, the best girlfriend, X, Y, Z, in order to be happy. But I'm just gonna say this, you have enough. There are things that you can be grateful for. Realize that you should be where you are and be okay with that. Just realize that things can get better. Realize things can get better and everything is temporary. Nothing is permanent. I wish you guys the absolute best. Namaste.